The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink His blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is through food, and my blood is through drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. These things he said while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> After the miracle of the multiplication of bread and fish, we... reflected on how Jesus challenged those who benefited from this uh, miracle by elevating their understanding of what has happened you know, on that hill where they have been where their hunger has been satisfied no? sabi ng panginoon it is the bread that would provide you or lead you to eternal life that you should seek at hindi lamang ang tinapay that would satisfy your physical hunger. Uh, hindi lamang dapat itong dahil kayo ay nakapakinabang, nabusog, kaya kayo lalapit sa akin, kundi dahil nais niyo ito itong tinapay na magbibigay sa inyo ng buhay na walang hanggan. Then, uh, he challenges uh, his uh, disciples or those the Jews, you know, with his teaching about or his prophecy about what would happen, eventually happen on the uh, Jews' reception of this very difficult teaching. Sabi niya, even if I draw people to accept this teaching on the bread of life, there will still be resistance there will still be those who will be resisting this teaching. Ito na yung reaction, konkretong reaction na maririnig narinig natin tungkol sa kanilang pagtanggap sa tinapay ng buhay. Paano may bibigay ng taong ito ang kanyang laman, ang kanyang katawan para ating kanin? So, we have prophets, we have uh, uh, reach this part of our reflection the other day. You know, sabi natin, hindi lamang ito na prophesy ng Panginoon. Alam na niya na ganito ang magiging reaction. Talagang may konkreto na resistance. You know? Paano nga ba maibibigay ng taong ito ang kanyang laman para ating kainin? Ito ang parin ang naging tugon ng mga hudyo. They were fed in the uh, that miracle of the multiplication of the bread. Jesus tried to elevate yung kanilang pag-unawa dito sa naganap sa burol na iyon. Nagpahayag ng Panginoon ng propesya na it, mayroong magiging resistance sa pagtanggap sa pagtuturong iyon. At eto na nga, na mas naging malinaw. Ang kanilang naging katanungan, paano nga ba ibibigay ng taong ito ang kanyang laman para ating kanin? 
Itong isang katangi-tanging bagay na dapat nating mapansin sa bahaging ito ng Ibanghelyo. Kasi alam natin, in many instances in the scriptures, when the Lord's disciples would like uh, be confused about some teachings of our Lord, our Lord would be quick to make an explanation. You will recall the parable of the sower. Uh, naging katanungan yon ng mga disipulo. So, nung sila-sila na lang, the disciples find or try to find some um, explanation, you know, clarity about that difficult teaching and the Lord was quick to explain to them. Ito ang ibig sabihin nga. No? Uh, one of the very few instances that Christ did that. No? Pinaliwanag ang isang talinhaga. No? Dahil malinaw na nagkaroon ng confusion sa kaisipan ng kanyang mga tagasunod. Pero ito na naman tayo, nagkaroon uli ng confusion ang mga Hudyo sa kanyang turo. Because ang kanilang kaisipan, how can we accept this this literally? How can we accept this teaching literally? How can this man give his flesh for us to eat? Kita natin kung ano ang naging pagpapaliwanag ng Panginoon. Kung ito ay tunay na dapat tanggapin bilang simbolo lang, kagaya ng tinagawa ng ilan nating mga kapatid sa labas ng ating iglesia. Simbolo lang yan. Hindi yan totoo. No. Jesus, when He says He is the bread of life, it is like, oh, allow Jesus to feed you no, with His teaching. Allow His teachings teachings to nourish your life, no? allow His words no? to to make your life meaningful. Yan. Ganun lang yan. Hindi yan to be taken literally. No? Sa halip na ayunan, marahil ang ganung kaisipan, anong sinabi ng Panginoon sa kanyang pagpapaliwanag? My flesh is real food. My blood is real drink. Talagang we need to partake of this food for you to have eternal life. Nandun na eh. Na-confuse na ang mga Hudyo. So if he really meant something else with those words, with what he said, with his teaching, then he could have easily explained it to these Jews who were confused with that teaching. But instead, lalo pang diniin. Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink His blood, you won't have life within you. For my flesh is true food. My blood is true drink. Totoo. You really have to eat. You really have to drink. His body, His blood. Magandang mabaling din natin ang ating pagninilay sa diwang ito. Dahil as what I have said, I have what I have been saying the past days, tayong mga katoliko lamang ang yumakap sa katotohanan ito as it was presented by Jesus. Some of our brothers and sisters you know, who call themselves Christians like us, but who are not members of our church, tinanggap nila ito, pero not the way we Catholics have accepted it. Para sa kanila, simbolo lang. So even if they have this kind of meal, they just do it as a memorial, as a commemoration, or as a symbol of what Christ did before. Pero tayo, ginagawa natin ito just as Jesus instructed us to. We do that, we do this in memory of Him. And we do it the way He wants us to do it. We celebrate the Eucharist and what happens is that bread becomes the body of our Lord. The wine becomes the real blood of our Lord. And we receive the sacrament the way Jesus wants us to receive them. Ating pananghahawakan as we partake of this meal tayo napapa nutot na dadala sa kaganapan ng pangako ng Panginoong Kristo 
buhay na walang hanggan. Mabigay pa rin nawa natin ang iba yung pagbagalang at pagpupugay bukod sa pagkilalang atin ang ginagawa. Kay Kristo ang tinapay ng buhay sa atin ding patuloy na pagtanggap sa Kanya sa Eucharistia. We now stand and present to God